My name is Doug Julin. Now as a musician and guitar player and performer for more than 30 years, I understand the importance of incorporating a larger than life or showbiz element to your performance. Over the years I've stolen moves from the best of rock's performers. Guys like uh, Jerry Garcia. Paul Simon. or relative newcomers like John Mayer. <laughs> or the great Lenny Kravitz. Yeah! 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 Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! And along the way I've also created some signature moves that you've probably seen some other artists incorporate. Moves like uh, the stick horse. Rock and roll! Woo! The archer. Or the McEnroe. Ah! Of course, one of the great moves of all time for any guitar player to try is the windmill, popularized by P. Townsend of the Who. Now it's kind of tricky, but if it's done right, it's very effective. So I want to show you right now some of the steps, some of the do's and don'ts of doing a great windmill. First of all, you've got to choose the right guitar and you've got to wear it the right way. Uh, it's not a bib, okay? And it's, uh, you can't wear it this high, I mean, unless you're uh, playing on the Archies or something, or you're like uh, Bill Wyman on the Ed Sullivan Show. So don't wear a big boxy guitar way up high. You gotta put it low where the vibrations can frankly do you some good. Now second of all you've got to choose the right guitar. The uh, Gibson Les Paul is a beautiful instrument but it presents kind of a problem right here with the toggle switch. This is a danger area for a windmill. Uh, here's an actual piece of footage shot on stage, a, a slow motion piece of film uh, with me and this beautiful Gibson Les Paul experiencing kind of a bad moment on a windmill. Actual footage. Get yourself a nice solid body electric guitar like this Fender Telecaster. And what you don't do is you don't do those little sissy half windmills that people like Paul Stanley or Tommy Shaw do. Eh, eh, come on everybody, let's rock and roll. That's not a windmill. A windmill comes from this loose shoulder blade back here in your groin, which you thrust out a little bit to push the guitar into the path of your hand. It's like this. <laughs> Just, uh, just watch out for the ceiling fans. I'm Doc Julin, and good luck with your windmill.